area. General Alindo Penaben Ben served as the military commander of UNITA under his uncle, Jonas Savimbi. After independence, when UNITA became part of the peace settlement, Pena became army chief of staff. At the time of his death, international mediators were relentlessly undertaking efforts to stall a return to outright hostilities. All right, now we cross live to SABC News reporter Ntakwa Nangatana, who uh, uh, will give us an update on the proceedings. Ntakwa, just before we talk about proceedings, give us um, a sense of who Ben Ben is. Well, good morning, Desiree. This is really a typical African story. You know that a lot of African heroes come from liberation movements, and Arlindo Pena is one of them. And from Angola, he was the chief of the army, or rather, um, the commander of UNITA. And of course, he then, as you said, eventually became the chief of staff in the Angola National Army when there was a peace settlement between the warring factions in that country and there were many movements uh, that were involved in the revolution there, including the MPLA and UNITA. Now, uh, Arlindo, uh, we understand he joined the UNITA when he was only 13 years old, and he was trained in Europe, he was trained in Morocco, and eventually uh, then joined his uncle, uh, who was Jonas Savimbi, very, very well known, also passed on in 2002 in clashes with the government in Angola. But um, in 1998, before Savimbi passed on, uh, we understand that Pena came to South Africa to be treated while he was uh, in, in, in Luanda, in Angola, and he was flown to Johannesburg and while he was undergoing treatment then he passed on. We then understand that he was buried in South Africa because of course the hostilities were still continuing until the war ended in 2002. So today the Department of Justice through its repatriation department uh, is undertaking one of these repatriations. They happen two way. There are revolutionaries of South Africa who are repatriated from other countries. We have seen many of them come back home but of course there are revolutionaries from other countries countries who are buried in South Africa, like Arlindo Pena, who are then taken home. And this is the event that we're seeing here today. Now, quite a somber mood, two flags of Angola and South Africa flying here. And of course, you can see behind me, Forza Aérea Nacional de Angola. This is the National Army uh, of Angola. It is represented here. But of course, the Minister of Justice from Angola is also here. He has accompanied the family. What this means, Desiree, is that the government of Angola is invested in ensuring that he returns home, but not only returns home, but returns home as a hero. Now, to talk to me about him even more is his son who moved to South Africa in 1999, and this is after his father had passed on. So he's very well known to South Africa. He understands the country well, but of course, he came here with his family as a refugee. At the time, uh, he was eight years old, and now he is 28. Yes, and uh, talk to us about your father. Um, how much do you know about what happened? You know, um, funny enough, growing up as a child uh, back in, in Angola, you know, I've never seen, I have, haven't seen my father that often because he was always moving around as the war was still happening. But he was always a well-respected man, and um, after he had died here in South Africa, I was still back in Angola. Then eventually my mom decided, look, rather let's just stay in, uh, in, in South Africa, so that at least after the war is, is over, then maybe we can go back. Now, uh, we understand that the government is... Uh, making sure that he returns home. The army is here, you know, the National Army of Angola. Uh, the family is here. What does this mean to you? Does this mean that those warring factions that we saw that undertook more than 20 years of civil war in that country are now uniting for Angola? Absolutely. It's a great move, uh, not just by the South African government to allow this process to happen, and also the Angolans to come come together, and the new president uh, made sure that this process comes through. So as a, as a son, you know, it's 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 hard for me as a son to relive this moment again because when my father died I was so young at the stage but um, it's great not just for myself and all my relatives but all the Angolans because my father was very well respected and he did a lot for for our country 
And of course, I spoke to one of your cousins here who was six years old when your father passed on. He doesn't know much except that he had to change his name really? uh, because he did not want to be identified. Do you find that now in Angola it's okay to come from either side of that war that raged on for so many years? You know, initially it was very hard, especially also for me when I moved to Luanda that uh, my grandfather being Jonas Avimbi was hard uh, for many people to, to take that. But now things have changed and... Um, it's good that the country, you're not just thinking of just MPLA or UNITA or any other party. We're thinking as Angolans and we try to unite. So it's, this is a great move, not just for myself, but for all Angolans. Well, Desiree, there you have it. He is the son, one of the four children um, uh, from one mother that Arlindo Pena had. And the family is here, the aunts are here, the military from Angola is here, and this is an official ceremony. And of course, you know that in a couple of months' time or any time from now, uh, the remains of Jonas Savimbi, who he says is his grandfather because he was Arlindo Pena's uncle. We understand that Jonas Savimbi was Arlindo Lindo's mother's uh, brother and his remains also that were buried in the east of uh, Angola will be repatriated or exhumed and he will receive an official burial or a dignified burial and of course as he says uh, we understand and from the family as well they're telling us that the situation in, Gal in Angola is such that those sides that were warring for so many years in that country are now coming together and we can see it here. Desiree? Well, thank you there to Ntakwana, who is at the repatriation ceremony of General Arlindo Pena Ben Ben.